Hey everybody, Steve Ritter. So I'm doing something a little, little different. way. come outside here in the nice uh, hot late summer uh, South Carolina day, <laughs> Friday afternoon here, um, and uh, mixing up something a little bit here instead of cooking something. I'm gonna just kind of walk you through. This is my first time, so I'm a little nervous about it. But I'm gonna repot this uh, this bonsai tree that I got for Christmas. Uh, of 2017 and um, I got this my uh, my the ravishing Mrs. Ritter and my kids gave me this I don't know if you can read that there but uh, inspire is what uh, it says on that, that rock there which meant a lot to me I was teaching at the time at the high school and uh, uh, this meant a lot to me now ever since I saw um, Karate Kid, you know, everybody wanted a bonsai tree. I had one that my wife uh, gave me one back in the mid 90s. She gave me one for my birthday once and uh, I was traveling so much and on the road that uh, that I just couldn't, couldn't take care of it. Um, ended up, uh, I don't know what I did with it. I know I didn't keep it. But, uh, you know, we've seen some and if you've ever been down to uh, Epcot um, in uh, in one of the, the little countries they have there, Japan, they have all these old bonsai trees, and there's some there that are like, you know, 80, 50 years old, 80 years old. So I think there's one that's like 100 years old. And they really, the, you know, the whole idea of bonsai, and she gave me a book on all this, and I was reading up on it. The whole idea is to, is just, it's old, but it's small. It's it's like, you know, miniature, uh, but, it, but it has an old look to it. And, and the older it gets, uh, the older the tree looks, and, and this is already, of course, now this is uh, two, what's that, two and a half years old now since I got it. This is, a, a, if I'm pronouncing it right, a, a Fukien T, F-U-K-I-E-N uh, T. Uh, it produces a nice little uh, pretty, uh, see if I can find one here, pretty, yeah, here's one, a uh, little pretty white flowers. Um, now, uh, this is the same pot it came in, and, and the book that I got on it said every two years you should repot it. So uh, it's been more than two years. Uh, I I've put some um, uh, I put some um, these fertilizer uh, sticks in it. Um, I, I just I just think this uh, is probably root bound. I think I guess we're about to find out. Uh, but what I did I I, I brought a, a pot from my mom's house. It was on the front porch. Now this was um, was gray at the time, and I repainted it because the ravishing Mrs. Ritter wants uh, white things on her on her counter, keep the clean uh, kitchen look. So I painted this up white, which I, I think it turned out pretty nice. Um, I'm gonna so I'm gonna repot my bonsai tree, and I'm sorry that I'm a little sweaty because it's 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 like sticking your head in a dryer right after it finishes. It's hot. Um, but I'm going to repot this now. We had a uh, I set, I made the mistake last year of setting this thing out. Uh, no, it was two years ago. I set it out in the summertime. I set it outside. I'm like, well, I'll let it let it get some rain, and uh, it got aphids all over it. And and I brought it in the house. Of course, the my wife kind of freaked out a little bit, as did I. Nobody wants to bring that kind of stuff in the house. So it had aphids all over the leaves. And I found a, a, a recipe online for a soap, vinegar, mixture, basically to kill them, kill all the aphids. Well, it did, and it, and then all the leaves fell off it, and I thought it was going to die, but it ended up coming back. Now, the only thing, I mean, you see some new growth on here. I think the only thing is, uh, I don't think it's growing quite as well as it, as it could. Again, I think it's root bound, so we're about to find out here. So I'm going to take, uh, take all the little accoutrement out of here. It's got little rocks here as uh, this kind of mulch. Um, I'm gonna kind of spread these off, and then it's got this. It's just got this um, this this uh, straw uh, mulch on here, and I'll just reuse that. I'll put it back on here. And I'll probably. I think I have some uh, moss on the side of the house. All right, let me angle the camera down. I'll keep talking to y'all as I do this, but uh, so you can see what I'm doing. So. Um, Kind of wondering how it's going to be now. The only time I, I repotted the uh, the and these are those little uh, fertilizer sticks. I put that in here, and I, I just I just think it's just too rude. Anyway, 
I, I repotted that uh, lime tree in, that we have on my front porch, which is no great feat because that thing basically, I've cut that thing down before to just basically a stick and uh, it comes back. You, you really have a, it can't kill it. I mean, um, uh, it's, it's pretty hard to. Now I can already see here that uh, they're, uh, this is pretty, this is pretty root bound. I can tell already, so I'm going to try to get this out of here without tearing it all up. Um, try to free this up from this pot. I think there's a little dirt in here, but I'm going to repot it, and hopefully it'll uh, do better. Now I'm not looking for it to, to get bigger now. Also, one of the things that I did, you can train these. This, this like, like this, this one long branch right here, I, I let grow out, because it'll get these new, uh, like this one here, it'll get these new branches that come in, and I'll, you just go in and clip those off. But you really have to, you know, like about once a week, come in and kind of clip off new stuff and shape it the way you want. And I, you know, it wants to grow up, and I like it growing sideways, so I just got some aluminum wire some heavier gauge aluminum wire um, and you just wrap it around the branches and I've wrapped like like this top one here I wrapped it around this top one and bent it down and trained it to, to grow um, it's kind of like those um, the trees in Europe the uh, yeah, okay so this is trying to come out I'm trying to be careful I don't want to tear it up too bad um, esplie that they do in uh, in Europe, where they'll train a tree to grow up like the side of a wall. Um, it's it's I guess it's the same kind of uh, concept as you you train these plants to grow the way you want them to grow. And yeah, so there's a little bit of lip on here. I think that's what's keeping us. There we go. All right, so now we're gonna get a good look. To see. So this is, there's not a whole lot of dirt in here, and that's that's kind of what you run into with this, and it's really root bound now. Um, so I, I think it can do better uh, if it has a little more room, and I'll just need to be more diligent about cutting it back and keeping it from, from uh, now I'm going to kind of use the, what I learned last time with that, uh, that lime tree, and, and I'm just kind of working my fingers in here slow to kind of shake the dirt out. I'm going to reuse that dirt and I'll just leave these rocks mixed in I suppose. I'll just I'll find something to dress it up or whatever. You see some of the roots are bigger here but I just kind of want to shake this out a little bit and uh, give the roots a little room here because because once I put it in this better soil and more soil, I, I think the roots will really take off. And then, of course, we'll probably, when I first got this thing, I always called it a happy plant because it always had flowers on it. So I'm just kind of shaking this loose. I'm trying not to cut it. Now, I may, probably going to cut some of these roots back a little bit just to, just working my hands in here, trying to see what I got, spread these roots out a bit as best I can. I'll probably said cut some of these back a little bit so you get some big ones going out here and I want to clip it all the way back but uh, you know keep it watered and give it good soil and it's gonna come back and be a happy plant again so actually quite a bit of dirt in here a lot more than I thought there was going to be. But we're going to give it some fresh stuff with uh, the big old knot there. See that? Give it some fresh, fertilize it a little bit. And, uh, so there it is. I mean, that's uh, kind of shaking the sound a little bit, give it a little bit of room.
think I think if it's going to have more room, I think it's going to really take off. Because what I'm looking for this the the trunk, what I really want is the trunk to get wide. And really, really, I know that's going to take years and years. So, but that's the plan to keep this going. Maybe hand this down to my kids and grandkids. That'd be pretty cool, wouldn't it? Keep this going. So I've kind of got all the, the old dirt shaken out of it. So it's quite a bit in here, actually. Um, I don't know if it's probably played out a little bit. Um, I'll, I'll use a little bit of this to mix back in, but I'm going to have a whole lot more room to in this other pot. Um, now what I'm going to do is uh, I've got my my new pot here, and of course it's got a big old hole in the bottom of it. And what I'm going to do is I've, I've got just an old t-shirt, or you can use a screen, um, and I'm going to put this over the, the hole to keep the dirt from coming out, but the water will drain out. Just kind of do that. Keep it, uh, put a couple of layers in, we'll see how that goes. Yeah, we'll just put one in. I think that'll be enough. It's not going to be broad or anything. And I'm going to just kind of use some fresh uh, fresh potting soil, potting mix. I'm going to put a little bit in the bottom here. Spread it around just so the roots will have something to sit on. I don't know if I have any rainwater in my... Alright, can you see that okay? Back this up a tad. So I'm going to just kind of set this in on top here, and then I'll just pack the... You know, I probably can... I'm thinking I want it to sit up a little higher in here and kind of slope down from the sides. So let me put a little bit more potting mix in here. set it in here. The roots are going to, you know what, I will trim a little bit of this back just to stimulate a little bit of growth here. So I'm going to kind of just cut some of the ends off like the bottom quarter bit or so. Like that one there, see. Just kind of cut a little bit just to get, stimulate some growth. So it's got somewhere to go, you know. Not savage it, but I think that having the extra, having the extra soil and everything in here, the fresh soil, I think it's really gonna just wake it up. I hope so, anyway. Let you know, I may do a video here in a couple of weeks as for the funeral for my bonsai. <laughs> Hopefully not. Just trimming a little bit of this off. Not too much. I don't want to shock it because there's going to be a shock for it. So, all right, then I'm going to put potting soil all around it. And we want to put it all around it, cover the roots up. down a little bit, make sure it's good and solid. Take these little fertilizer sticks that I had and I'm going to put that in, give it a little, little boost here at the start. I'm going to give it a good water in here in a minute. That's in there. I'll use a little bit of the old dirt top here. Why not? Kind of native 
always kind of heard that, you know, when you, when you're planting something in your yard and you dig up the hole, mix a little bit of the dirt that's there with, because you've got the, you've got the, uh, you know, all the microscopic organisms and all, a little bit of mulch on the top here to, uh, keep it, uh, to, you know, keep it healthy and the natural fauna and flora, you know, so put these, this, I just want to mix this back in, uh, this dirt can't hurt, there's no disease on it or anything, what that is, dirt clod there, like a chunk of clay or something, I get that out of here, these rocks in here, and so I basically I, I put all new fresh soil in here, and then I and then I used uh, all the old soil that was in the last uh, the last uh, the the pot I had it in. So it's got plenty of soil and food chance to grow here, and we'll uh, we'll repot this. We'll see how this uh, see how this does. I'm going to water this now, and. Uh, Put it in the house, and uh, we'll see see how it turns out. So, we'll uh, I'll give you some updates as uh, time goes on, and we'll follow up here with another video how it turned out. But that's it, repotting in a bigger pot, and uh, it turned out pretty well. I'm pretty happy with how it looks. So, uh, oh, almost forgot my little Inspire. Put that in here too. So, always remember. That, that always that meant a lot to me, my wife and kids. You know, they, that's what they said I did when I when I taught. So I hope you. That's well, interesting. I hope you enjoyed it. And I've been I've been meaning to get to this, and I'm finally able to get some projects done around here. That was one of them. So hope that was interesting for you. Anyway, I, I always get a kick out of working with plants and all. So I'll probably jazz this up with some moss or mulch or something like that so anyway uh hope you hope you have a great day and uh this is steve ritter signing off see you next time